For this experiment, we will be using the following materials. Push pins, dissecting pan, cotton, dissecting kit, surgical gloves, alcohol, nail polish, a marker, and of course, our frog specimen. Before we begin with our experiment, it is a must to have donned personal protective equipment, such as lab gowns, surgical gloves, and surgical masks. It is advisable to keep long hair in a neat hairstyle like a ponytail or a tight bun. Our first goal for this experiment was to paralyze the frog. First, we tried to locate the soft part of the skull and used the probe tool to puncture the area. We then proceeded to open its mouth to examine what were the components inside. We use scissors to cut the corners of the mouth where the maxilla or the upper jaw and the mandible or the lower jaw join together. It is now time to pin down the frog in a supine position onto a hard surface so he cannot escape. We use the wooden surface instead of a dissecting pan. Using the marker, we drew incision lines to help as a guide for our cuts. Now using the forceps, we lifted the skin to make it easier to cut through with the scissors. Using a scalpel, we scraped under the skin to separate it from the muscle tissue.
After scraping, we pin down the skin on both sides. We did the same process for opening the muscle tissue. It was lifted up using the forceps, then cut in a straight line, starting from the bottom all the way to the top. The frog's internal organs are now exposed and ready to be examined. We use the flapper tool to examine the organs individually. We will now extract all the organs starting off with the fat bodies, which is this yellowish organ. Next, we made a cut between the small intestine and stomach to separate the two. We began extracting the urinary bladder along with the large and small intestine, as well as the pancreas. There were more fat bodies inside, so we quickly took it out. Then we started extracting the frog's liver. The gallbladder was attached to the liver so we separated both organs. We continued to extract the organs like the stomach and the heart, which was still beating even after it had been cut off. The frog's voice box had to be extracted too. This voice box contains the larynx, which causes the frog to croak.
the esophagus was cut off as well. This is what the frog looks like without all of the internal organs. Next up, we extracted the frog's two eyeballs. We then expose them both to the sunlight. We removed some parts of the one eyeball so that we could see the vitreous body. The final organ which was extracted was the skin. It was the toughest organ to extract, since it is the largest organ and it was still attached to all the muscle tissue. We also removed as much muscle tissue as we could from the bone so that the rest would be easier to scrape off during the preservation process. This is now the result. 